Hi everyone, my name is PJ and I'm a fitness instructor with the city of Vaughan. And today we're gonna do a Pilates, mat Pilates class. And mostly we're gonna stay on the mat. So you do need a comfy mat. If your mat is a yoga mat and it's too thin, you can always double up or put a towel on top, which usually helps with the, the slipperiness or something like that. And otherwise, you don't need anything. Keep a bottle of water handy if you need to take a break. We are using a, a Pilates ball today. It's a small ball. Um, if you don't have one of those, you can use a, a little cushion, a yoga block for most of the stuff. Um, I will kind of try to remind you if you can't use a yoga block for certain exercises, but for most part, uh, it should be okay. And we're gonna start seated today um, on the mat. Find your sitting bones. So you might have to move things around. You wanna sit up nice and tall. Make sure your belly button is intact. And lower your shoulders down. Good. Let's close your eyes to start. I want you to focus on that breath. Let's take that nice inhale through the nose and let it out through the mouth. So when you inhale, you're gonna find that your lungs are gonna flare up a little bit. Try not to let that rib cage open up. So it's okay to take it in your lungs, but if you can, try to take that breath all the way to the top part of your belly. Let's take an inhale and exhale out. Good, one more time. That's just to show you the breathing. So relax the shoulders, increase the gap between your ears and your shoulders, lengthening through the neck with each exhale. Find yourself getting a little taller, a little bit more relaxed, releasing all the tension. Good, we're gonna start by lying down on your mat. So keep your ball close by and slowly find yourself lying on the mat. Now once you're here, bring your feet at a comfortable distance from your bum. We're gonna start by just finding that breath again. So hand on either side of your body. Take that nice inhale. If you put your hands on your rib cage, it'll help you focus on that breath and see how the breath affects that body. So if your rib cage is opening and closing, you're gonna try to avoid that. Let's do a two or three breaths right here. In through your nose and out through the mouth. And again, in through your nose and out through the mouth. Good, one last time. And release it. Good, we're gonna take your hands on either side. Lift your arms up as you inhale. Take it as far back as you can and exhale, circle your arms around. Bring them back on either side of your hips. We're gonna do two more times, just like that. Good, inhale, lift up. And exhale, circle your arms around. Good, let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, circle those arms around. Good, one more time, inhale. And exhale, circle them around and bring it back to your side. We're gonna change directions. So as you inhale this time, palms are facing up towards the ceiling, inhaling, lifting your arms, circling them around. And as you exhale, lift your arms over and bring them back down. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale and exhale. Good, again, palms are facing up. Inhaling as you circle, exhale as you lower your arms down. Let's do one more. Focus on that belly as well. Keep drawing your belly button into your spine. And exhale, lower your arms down. Beautiful. Excellent. Now, we're gonna just focus on your 
belly. So as you inhale, I want you to give me that little tilt. Tuck your tailbone in. Little pelvic tilt. And exhale, relax it. Inhale, tilt. And exhale, relax. Couple more times. Inhale, tilt. Exhale, relax. You're also drawing that belly button into your spine as you inhale. And exhale, relax. Good. Let's move back to your upper body. You're going to drop your head to one side and back to the top and over to the other side. So you're going to go side to side. Good. Just a few more times. Inhale and exhale. Don't, wor don't forget to breathe. And don't worry about when you inhale, when you exhale. Just whatever feels comfortable for you. Good. Bring your ba head back to the center. Now, we're going to just bring your ball. We're going to start using it right off the bat. I want you to place it between your inner thighs. And we're going to squeeze the ball and relax the ball. Again, working with that breath. Squeeze the ball. Relax the ball. A couple more times. Good. Now, the next time, when you squeeze that ball, I want you to give me that pelvic tilt. So squeeze the ball and tuck your tailbone. Squeeze your belly. Inhale. Relax it. This time, we're going to exhale as we squeeze and tuck. Inhale, relax. Couple more times. Exhale, squeeze and tuck. Inhale, relax. One last time. And relax. Good. See if you can lift your knees up to tabletop position. Keep the ball right where it is. So lift your knees up so that your knees are stacked over your hips. That's called your tabletop position. And you want to make sure you're not lowering your heels and just letting them hang. Keep thinking them at a 90 degrees at your knees as well is helpful. We're going to squeeze and release the ball for eight, seven. Watch that neutral spine. Six, five. Work with that breath. Four, three, two, and one. Now let's keep squeezing the ball and see if you can lower your knees to your left side. Any side, doesn't matter. Inhale, bring it back to the center. Exhale, lower to the other side. Now you might want to take your arms into a T. Whichever is comfortable for you, keep your arms down on the floor. Side to side, just increasing a little blood flow towards your abdominals, towards your hips and your legs. So just want to make sure your body is warmed up before we get started into the hard work. Good. Just give me one more time on either side. Doesn't matter that your knees don't go all the way down. Just go side to side. Excellent work. Good. Knees back up. And we're going to lower your feet down. Good. Let's take the ball out. And we're going to begin with a little bit of a crunch work. So bring your knees back up to tabletop. Take your ball in between your hands. Good. Now, from here, inhale. And exhale, reach over. So I want you to go past your knees and inhale, release it down. If this is too, too much on your back, you can keep your feet down and do the same thing. I prefer to do it here. It actually supports my back a little more. But you do what feels comfortable for you. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. So you're lifting your head, neck, and shoulders. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Good. Exhale, lift up. One last one here. Inhale, lower down. Now you can stay here or you can straighten out your legs. So we're going to take your ball and we're going to roll it from your knees all the way up your shins towards your feet. So inhale at the bottom. Exhale, lift and roll. Inhale, lower it back down to your knees. Lower your head and shoulders down. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders, roll the ball. 
good. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, roll. Inhale, bring it back. You're going to do about four more. Exhale, roll. Inhale, roll it back. Couple more times. Come on, you got this. Inhale, bring it back. One last one. This time, see if you can stay here. Beautiful. Now we're going to just crunch up right here. Little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees and roll the ball back. Beautiful. Let's take the ball in between your inner thighs again, and we're going to go right into our Pilates 100. I'm going to keep the ball here. You could put the ball between your ankles, especially if you're going to have your feet all the way up. But I'm going to show you or demonstrate it in between the inner thighs so you keep your knees at tabletop position. So in order to prep for it, squeeze the ball, lift your upper body off, and we're going to pump. Inhale for five, and exhale for five, good. Inhale for five, let's squeeze, squeeze that ball, and exhale for five. Just give me three more here, inhale for five, and exhale for five. Inhale for five, and exhale for five. We're gonna change it up a little bit right here. You're gonna take the ball between your ankles and lift it straight up. And you can, if you get, your head is getting tired, your neck is getting tired, you can put your head and shoulders down or hands can go behind your head to support. Now we're gonna do the pulses, same thing. We're gonna pump it by pulsing on the ball. So inhale for five, squeeze the ball, exhale for five. Inhale for five and exhale for five. Good, inhale for five. And exhale for five, last two. Inhale for five. And exhale for five. Bend your knees, release the ball, and take a little breather. Bring your knees side to side, just for a little break. Good. Excellent. Now, we're gonna keep your right foot down, extend the left leg out try here to take the ball and roll it all the way to the top just one leg this time so from your knee all the way to your foot if it's possible inhale at the bottom exhale roll and take it to the top as far as you can inhale bring it back down exhale roll it up now you can see that my right leg is bent here if you want to work even harder Extend that leg out. Whatever works for you. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Feeling a little tighter today, so I'm gonna keep my foot bent, my knee bent here. Good. And lower it down. Exhale, roll it up. Inhale, roll it down. Give me two more. Exhale, roll it up. Inhale, roll it down. One last one. And roll it down and rest we're gonna switch legs let's extend your right leg same thing from your knee extend it all the way up as you exhale inhale roll it down exhale roll up inhale roll down may not look hard but it is challenging you're working on that one side of your abdominal wall exhale roll it up Inhale, roll it down. Good. Just give me three more. Roll it down. Give me two more. Roll it down. Last one. And down. And relax. Good. We're going to bring your knees back up to tabletop. This time, we're going to put your ball in between your ankles and extend your legs. Now, if you have any issues with your lower back, you're gonna place your hands underneath, just giving it a little cushion. Otherwise, you could keep your hands on either side. We're gonna do a little bit of low leg lowers. So we're gonna squeeze the ball, lower your legs down to about 45 degrees. Inhale, lift up. 
Exhale, lower to 45. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. If you want to work extra hard, you can lift your head and shoulders up. Excellent. Four. Three. Two. One more. Good. We're going to bend your knees. Rest for a second. Good. Now we're going to take it back up and see if you can go a little bit lower. So, right here. Lower it down a little bit more or as low as you can. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Lift. Exhale. Inhale. Last three. Last two. Last one. Good. Bend your knees. Rest. Take the ball out. Good. Give yourself a little stretch. Take your arms over your head. Reach your legs long. Good. Beautiful. Breathe it out. We're going to go into our roll up right here. So inhale here. Exhale. Lift your head, your neck, your shoulders. And try to reach for the opposite wall. Inhale, come back. I have scooched over. I'm going to shift back. Good. Roll back. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Reach. Come back up and lower yourself down. Let's do three more right here. Exhale. Good. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Good. One more time. Good. This time, we're not going to go all the way down. So halfway down. And we're going to twist, 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 inhale, exhale, inhale. You can tap the floor if you wish. Exhale, inhale, exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it all the way down. Beautiful. Let's come on to one side. So we're going to ro roll over one side. It doesn't matter which side. We are doing both sides. So, we're going to take the ball in your top hand, extend the bottom leg, a uh, top leg out, and we're going to take it up and we're going to reach. So, you can extend both legs if you wish. And I have just an FYI, you're going to roll back slightly so you feel it through the obliques. We're going to exhale, reach, inhale, lower. Exhale, reach, inhale, lower. Exhale, reach, inhale, lower. Exhale, reach, inhale, good. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Four more, good, three more, two more, last one. Good, now we're gonna do the same leg. So the top leg for me was my left leg. You're gonna go on your back, and we're going to take both legs up. We can bend the right knee and the left leg is going to be straight. Take the ball in your right hand and we're going to reach up, lower down. Reach up, lower down. Reach up, lower down. A lot of ab work today. Good. Give me five. And four. And three. And two. Give me one last one. Let's hold it here. Roll it up and down. Roll it up and down. Roll it up and down. Give me four. Give me three. Give me two. One last one. Good, let's hold it here. And we're gonna extend both legs out. Good. While you take your ball over your head, you can extend one leg and then the other or if you are up to it, both legs and up. You got four 
and three and two one last one good bend your legs and we're going to switch it over to the other side not sure about you guys but i am sweating it is also hot so <laughs> that makes it a little bit more sweatier all right you're here take your top leg out top arm and we're gonna squeeze and squeeze good squeeze right there for eight seven six five four three two give me one more good now we're gonna turn it over on that so same side same leg straighten it out take your opposite hand ball in the opposite hand and we're gonna reach and lower and reach and lower reach lower five four three two hold it at the last one roll it up and down roll it up and down five four three go as far as you can two one more good extend both legs straight up extend the arms we're gonna reach your ball with your and your arms over your head either you can do option one one leg at a time or option two both feet good for eight good five more don't have to go all the way down last two last one good bend your knees let's bring your feet down give your knees a little side to side excellent work guys all right we're going to do a little bit of bridge work so focus is going to go to your legs now take the ball in between your inner thighs hands on either side of your hips squeeze the ball good now slowly lift your tailbone your lower back up mid back upper back off the floor hold and slowly lower down in the reverse form good let's go lift up squeeze you're squeezing your belly as well and your glutes inhale to lower down let's do that again exhale to lift up inhale to lower down just give me a couple more here we're going to change it up exhale lift up good inhale lower down exhale lift up inhale lower down now the next one we're going to lift up and hold so lift up and hold give me a squeeze two three four five six seven eight hold it squeeze lower your butt down release the ball gently we're going to do that again lift up hold it here now if you can you're still squeezing the ball lift your heels up and lower your heels down lift your heels up lower your heels down lift them up lower them down good work lift it up starting to work those calves as well lift your heels up good now on this last one see if you can lift it up and hold and give me a squeeze two three four five six seven eight hold heels come down lower your bum down good take the ball out we're still not done with the bridge if this is possible and if you can do it this is very challenging so you don't want to put the ball underneath your feet you don't have to we're gonna put place the ball under both feet make sure that 
you kind of use your feet to hold on to the ball. Hands stay firmly on the mat. Exhale, push into the ball and lift your feet. Bump up, inhale, lower down. Really working on those hamstrings. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Good. Protecting your lower back, so you're gonna tuck that tailbone in first. Good, squeeze your belly, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, lower down. You're gonna give me one more this time. You're gonna stay up. Hold it at the top. Hold it at the top. You're gonna hold for five. And four. And three. And two. And one. And lower it down. Might feel a little wobbly. That's okay. Now, let's see if we can do it with one foot on. So you're gonna take your left foot down, right foot on the mat, on the ball. Keep your left foot on the mat. Lift it up. Only one foot is on the ball. Lower down. You're gonna do two more. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Already you should be feeling that right hamstring. But on the next one, here's your option. You wanna work extra hard. Lift that left foot off the floor and hold for four, three, two, and one. Foot goes down, bum goes down. We're gonna do the other side. So roll the ball over so that your left foot is on top of the ball. Good. Right foot stays on the floor, lift up, and lower down. I want you to feel the hamstring right here, and I promise you we'll stretch it out. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. This is your last one. See if you can hold. Now, sometimes you find better balance on one side than the other. If you can, lift your right knee, right foot off and hold for five, four, three, two. Place your foot down. Lower your bum. And take the ball out. Good. Put it on the side for a second. We're going to do a little stretch for your hamstring and your glute. So extend one leg, grab it at either your calf or your hamstring and pull it in towards you. And try to straighten out that bottom leg, giving it a little deeper stretch. Flex your foot at the top. Good, breathe. Ooh. Nice stretch right there. Do that hamstring. Cross that leg over on top of the other leg and then lift it, your both legs up giving you a stretch through the glute. Excellent. We're gonna uncross and switch. So bring that right leg all the way to the top. Pull it in towards your chest. Flex your foot. Your leg doesn't have to be straight as long as you feel that stretch in your hamstring. Good, bend your bottom leg, cross the top leg and lift both legs up. Get that stretch through the glute as well. Good, beautiful. Breathe it out. Rock it side to side. Good. Uncross your legs. Excellent work. We'll do a little extra. Just drop both knees to one side. And lift it up and drop both knees to the other side. We're gonna go right into our uh, more work on your abs now, more on your obliques. So put your feet down. We're gonna lift up this time your left knee to tabletop. You're gonna place the ball on your left knee. Take your right hand behind your head. Lift it, your head and shoulders up. You're gonna take your right elbow and hold the ball between your left knee and your right elbow. Left hand stays down. This right foot can stay here or you can straighten it out. Now, holding it here, I want you to just relax and then lift that whole right side of your rib cage up, squeeze the ball. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, relax. Again, squeeze and relax. Give me three more. 
and relax, and two, and relax, and one, hold it, squeeze, now the right leg lift it up, lower down, lift it up, lower down, lift it up, lower down, four, three, two, and one, good, take a break, we're going to do a little bit more on that same side. So just a little break for your head, for your neck, for your shoulders. Good. Breathe. Hopefully we were breathing before too. Same side. Left knee up. Ball on your left knee. Right hand behind your head. Left el right elbow holding on to the ball. Good. You could put your right left hand behind your head as well. Good. Now extend the leg out. We're going to do one squeeze and then lift and lower. Squeeze, release, lift, lower. Squeeze, release, lift, lower. Squeeze, release, lift, lower. Three more. Lift, lower, squeeze, lift, lower. Last one. Good. Take that ball out. You're really gonna feel that whole one side of your abs. We're gonna do the other side. I'm gonna turn it over so you can see me. Excellent work. Good job, guys. It's a tough class today. We're gonna place the ball on your left knee. We did the left knee already. Right knee, left hand behind your head. Take your left elbow and hold on to the ball. Good, extend your left leg out. Good, now we're gonna squeeze the ball and relax. Squeeze and relax. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three more, squeeze, two, and one. Now, hold it here, lift that left leg up and down. Good, six more, five, Four, three, two, one more. Good. Taking a little breather. We're going to do the combo on that side. Good. Don't have very long to go. Let's keep going. Put that ball in the same place again. So right knee and left elbow. Good. We're going to do one squeeze, one lift. One squeeze, one lift, squeeze, lift, got four more, squeeze, lift, three, lift, two, lift, last one, lift, and take the ball out, beautiful, all right, straighten out your legs. We're going to reach your arms long as far as they can go. Breathe it out. Good. Bring your knees into your chest. Good. Give me a little side to side. Your lower back a little massage. We're going to cross your cross up your ankles and just hold your feet right here. Good. We're gonna do a couple of leg li hip lifts right here. Hands stay on either side. We're gonna exhale to lift up. Inhale, lower. Try not to use momentum. Exhale, lift. So you don't wanna do from here. That's not what we wanna do. We wanna just hold it here. You could push into your hands to give yourself a little leverage here, but not too much. Exhale. Good. Give me five and four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. We can try to do this with straight legs as well. So take your feet all the way up, flex your feet, and do the same. Lift, lift. So we're not doing lowering and lifting. That's a lot of momentum, so we're just going to keep it here. Flex your feet and lift. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Give me five, four, three
four, three, two, one more. Good. Bring your feet down. Excellent work. If you can, you're going to come straight up. I'm going to turn it over onto your belly. So we're going to do a little work for your back. Straight onto your belly. Arms on either side. Good. Now I have my mic on, so I'm not going to go flat down on the floor. But you could. So your forehead goes down like so. Good. So I'm going to try with the first with the upper body. So exhale, lift that upper body. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Give me one more. And lower down. We're gonna bring your hands, place them under your forehead, rest your head. As far as your legs are concerned, keep them slightly apart and you're re relax your feet right there. Good. Now lift your legs up, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Good. Just one, one more after this. Excellent. Bring those hands on either side again, behind you. I'm gonna try to lift upper and lower at the same time. So exhale, lift. Try not to strain the neck too much. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. One last one. And lower it down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Lift up that whole upper body, pressing into your hands. Good, look to one side, look to the other side. Come back to the center and then come onto your knees and drop back into a child's pose. Good. Bring your hands on either side. Lower your head down. Dropping your bum as far back as you can. Good. Come on to your hands and knees. Excellent. Bring your hands directly underneath your shoulders and your knees as wide as your hips good take an inhale scoop that belly in rounding that spine relaxing your head and exhale lower your belly down tailbone pushes away arch your back looking forward let's do that two more times inhale round your spine Exhale. Good. One last time. Round. And arch. Good. Make sure you come back into a neutral spine. And we're going to take your left hand. We're going to thread it through. Place your shoulder down. Place your head down if you can. And just rest right here. You could take this hand, place it on your back, or just leave it here. Good. Just take a breath here, in through your nose, out through the mouth. Good. We're going to do the other side. So come back onto all fours again. Take your right hand, place it in between, and thread it through. Try to lower that shoulder. Lower your head down. Just breathe it out. And come back up. Good. Now, we're going to try here to do the rest of the stretches seated. Good. Have a seat. Extend one leg straight out. 
doesn't matter which leg, bring the other foot on the inner thigh, placing that leg to be flat on the floor. Flex that foot, point your toes towards you. Inhale, and exhale, try to reach for the toes. Now, it's not important that you reach for your toes, it's the more hinging that you're focusing on. Good. And release it. Let's do the other side. Extend your foot out. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Reach. And come back in. Bring both feet together. Good. Grab onto your feet. Make sure your shoulders are down. And we're going to drop your knees down towards the floor. Now you can butterfly it if you wish, not important. Inhale, exhale, push it down even further down. Good. And let's fold your legs together, taking a seat. Good. We're going to take one hand down, inhale, exhale, reach over. Good, bring it down. Let's do the other side. Inhale, exhale, reach over. And bring it down. Let's roll the shoulders back, releasing any kind of stiffness, tension. Good, roll it forward. Good, shake it all out. Let's take a nice uh, position here, seated position, hands at your knees. And close your eyes, focus on in, focusing on the breath. In through your nose and out through the mouth. Let's take your hands at your heart center. Take an inhale through your nose and out through the mouth. But the next two breaths, I want you to take it in and out through the nose. In through your nose and out through the nose. And again, in through your nose and out through the nose. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Namaste. Stay safe. And bye for now.